Hello Pisces, this is monthly spread for you, month of November 2015. On the bottom of the deck, which is some message for you, you have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, it can be somebody's arriving or somebody is inviting you somewhere. It can be some kind of invitation. Uh, it doesn't have to be a romantic one, but it's pleasant for some reason for you because it's really emotional invitation and uh, if it's somebody who is arriving then this person is also I don't know you happy to see this person so it can be that somebody is coming I, I don't know at your home uh, to visit you anything you will meet someone and it's really pleasant for you to see this person uh, also for me uh, you have very creative month so if you're an artist a singer uh, tarot reader even uh, anything like this it's a wonderful month for you and uh, King of Cups here, it's also uh, because he has a rich fantasy, actually. Uh, but not a stupid fantasy, imagination. His imagination is really uh, wonderful. And he is very musical as well. So what Pisces want uh, this month? What is happening? What do you want? Uh, the Ace of Wands, inspiration, ideas, some new ideas, fresh ideas, optimism and probably you want to start something new. I don't know what it's about but for me it's more creative something or something really fresh. And But in your unconscious mind you have this uh, seven of wands so like you have a strong will to uh, begin something you have some inspiration but somewhere in unconscious mind is saying it's not so easy <laughs> don't listen to this uh, probably you want to start something big and huge that's why you have this in unconscious mind you uh, somewhere you understand that yes it's a lot of work it's not so simple it uh, needs some hard work from you but you anyway you beginning three of wands it's your basic mood trying to do something not so hardly like it in uh, seven of wands but trying to do anyway begin something because three of wands excuse me Three of Wands, it's uh, uh, new beginnings, activity, uh, passion as well, because uh, it's fire. Sometimes not trying so hard. Yes, you are quite optimistic, but maybe methods that you're using, they are not always like 100% what it should be. But anyway, you are quite optimistic and you're beginning it you are ready to start it and you hope that you will get a proper result second house financial stability page of wands all pages its messengers who are bringing us some news so you receiving some news and you feel very optimistic about it I don't know what it will be in your life but it will uh, make you happy and more optimistic about your finances and I want to come in the 8th house right away because this uh, optimism that you have here about your financial stability might be because of your partner if you currently coupled if you Pisces that are married or living with someone because in the 8th house we have page of Pentacles also a messenger so maybe your partner coming and telling you that uh, I've got a raise uh, of my salary or I'm, 
I don't know, shift in my career or I've got this order so I've got this client, uh, I'll have, make this uh, big job and uh, I will get well paid. Stuff like that, good financial news coming from your partner. That's why maybe you're so optimistic and happy. Um, but it doesn't have, if you are single Pisces, Page of Pentacles in the 8th house symbolizes just some letter, uh, financial letter from your bank, from taxes, anything like this. But this letter is, or oh, it's regular, or oh, it's um, uh, good news, because Page of Pentacles is upright there. But anyway, for some reason, there must be something that is going on that you feel so optimistic about your finances. And now you like, it's not only that you are just optimistic, you like beginning to make some plans. Because you are so optimistic, you see the light and you are happy about it. Third house, a uh, way of thinking and communication and short travels. We have the Hermit here. Hermit, it's someone who is really uh, wise, cautious, uh, careful with his... Uh, and he is the way of thinking. Hermit, it's a really wise person. And uh, he has some deep thoughts, serious thoughts thoughts, wise thoughts. And when we're talking about communication, he's very careful. He thinks what he's saying. He's cautious in his uh, what he is uh, speaking about. So you will be very... Mm, it's a good thing to have, actually. But you will not have, um, like, intentions just uh, talk blah 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 about uh, everything because uh, hermit is not like this <laughs> fourth house it's uh, home and family you have knight of pentacles i think it might be in the first place someone is coming to your home someone who is quite important for you it can be relative brother i don't know anybody Maybe this Knight of Cups, maybe it's the same person actually. It's just this person is important for you. Uh, he's coming to you and you are happy. You see it's such a wonderful impression that you're getting from this uh, arriving of this person. So it can be the same. I have seen in the spreads uh, in other tarot reader spreads quite often uh, for example it's shown like two kings and uh, sometimes people interpret it like a different man not always because in my case I see the same man just in different uh, <clears throat> let's say situation or hear how he is and here is my uh, impression from him. So it can be the same person, actually, that you are happy to see. Uh, Knight of Pentacles also for home. It symbolizes a um, uh, routine that we have to do. But we're doing it um, because um, Knight of Pentacles, it's a Virgo sign. So uh, they are, they can work hard. They don't take it as a oh, difficult or heavy obligations. It's just work that have to be done. And you're doing it properly. Things are on the places. Sometimes uh, it takes uh, a while to m think him through how he should do things like this. But then he begins to do and moving slowly, but in the right direction. So things at home will be just all right. And it's a very calm atmosphere at home. There is no fights, no uh, scandals, nothing, no nerves here. Healthy atmosphere, I would say. Uh, fifth house, you have the sun. You are not the one. Two signs also had the sun in the fifth house. So... Uh, fifth house is house of uh, games, pleasures, flirt, kids, sport. 
uh, what do I see in the sun? Uh, for uh, activity, I mean for the sport. If you are sportsman, actually, then this is some kind of success that you're getting. And uh, you, uh, like, it, it's, it's helping you in your career. Or you are proving that you deserve this uh, title, for example. Um, anything like this. You can even get a payment for this um, success, actually. For kids, there is... I don't know what to say. What do you think for kids? It's a wonderful card to have. A joyful, happy, uh, honest with your kids. And even if you had some difficulties uh, in the recent past, sun is always shining and bringing us a warm clarity, understanding, uh, warm feelings, love, happiness. So it's a great card to have. Hobby also it's a wonderful thing because uh, it's you will be successful in what you're doing for hobby. If hobby is your um, like you making money on it, like hobby is your work, it's also very it's a wonderful month for you. Honestly, it's a great thing. You will be successful. You will do a lot of things. Uh, there will be more clarity. You will see what possibilities do you have in your future. So it's a great, great success. Uh, and for fluent, for love games, of course, the sun. The sun is shining and bringing us a warm love, care, understanding of some things. And joy, actually. Just uh, we'll feel, we, we will feel that uh, we are loved or we fall in love and completely we are all the there. Uh, sixth house, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sixth house, uh, king of cups here. It's daily routine, uh, communications with co-workers and your lifestyle as well, habits. King of cups, uh, you see he is drinking. So if you having any problems, you have to drink less. If you have any problems with alcohol, also for me, uh, because cups, uh, for me it's always symbolize pleasures, food, drinks. So maybe you will have intention to eat a little bit more than usually. Be careful with this, if you don't want to put some weight on. Uh, then about communications with co-workers. For me, this guy is really mature man who is mature in his feelings and his emotions. He understands people. He, he likes to joke a little bit. He likes to have fun. He is very, um, I don't know, for me, like kind with people. But he can be powerful because he, he knows how to, uh, like, let's say, play on somebody's feelings actually because he is really good in understanding of people's emotions he feel uh, a lot what is going on because you have this emperor it's also your reputation so some of Pisces you will have reputation a reputation of someone who is really powerful as well so, uh, for me, it's a good card. A little bit, King of Cups, can be lazy sometimes. Like, uh, why I should uh, work so hard? Uh, it's uh, quite... Uh, it's all right anyway. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, in the seventh house, there is Empress in reverse. This is our love and marriage. I mean, partnership and marriage. It's not a very good card. I don't want to comment it so much. I will just say that uh, if there were some difficulties in a partnership, they are, um, by Empress in reverse, it's difficult to fix it this month. Maybe it will continue a little bit longer. And for those who are dating, 
even if you are really like fold in love everything is just wonderful you enjoying this relationships but you are not ready to let this person come in to your life in the seventh house from the fifth you still uh, let this person be here in the fifth house it doesn't mean that you are not enjoying it but for some reason maybe you have some I don't know trauma from previous relationships and you are not ready yet to build something very very serious page of pentacles as i already told you uh, in the eighth house it can be some financial letter it's a good news it can be regular or good news it doesn't have it it's nothing like uh, awful scary nothing bad is going on here uh, Ninth house, uh, Queen of Cups here. It's uh, your belief system. It's your like um, channel that uh, you have connection through uh, to your um, well. Battery is dying. Excuse me. I have to change it. Sorry for that. Uh, I uh, stopped where the Queen of Cups. This is your channel where you communicate with your guardian angels, with the spirit. And Queen of Cups, she is receiving everything. She's very intuitive, very intuitive. She is like clairvoyant, actually. So you will feel a lot of things. Uh, if you are if you had something to do with this then for you it's not uh, it's just the month where you will be really uh, receiving it in the nice way if you never uh, had such a um, tune uh, to the spirit uh, then maybe you will feel it how wonderful it is you will have a lot of insights I mean in intuitive insights so how you call it Re receptive I don't know the right word in English but anyway uh, when it comes to learning something foreign Queen of Cups because she's so intuitive she's so sensitive and she has because uh, learning of language foreign language it has something to do with uh, our uh, hearing the music as well and she is very sensitive she is very musical so I think that you will learn it in very intuitive and easygoing way. Uh, long distance travels, impressions from long distance travels, uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. Some of you maybe will uh, go somewhere far away or with a woman or to the woman you going somewhere. But anyway, it's very good card. Uh, and I think that because of your intuition, a lot of people will come to you um, like for advice maybe or to tell you about their feelings, their problems and again waiting for advice from you for some reason. Like people will feel that you are the person who can somehow help them with advice <clears throat> and you will you can do it this month at least tenth house i think pisces they have this um, actually always they feel very deeply so uh, maybe for some of you it's not a uh, news that people will come for advice to you tenth house it's career and your reputation <coughs> oh excuse me uh, as reputation, the emperor, it's someone who is uh, honest, strong, powerful, uh, but can be uh, sta like mm, because emperor he has this um, his uh, beliefs, rules, let's say, and it's very difficult. 
uh, to uh, explain him that uh, it's not like this. Uh, couldn't you move a little bit to the right? No, I can't, saying the emperor. He don't want to move anywhere. He is very stubborn. It has to be like this. So maybe some people, for some reason, uh, see you uh, as someone who is really having strong beliefs and want to move from this point. Uh, some of you can see as a very powerful someone, someone who achieved a lot in your life. Uh, as career, uh, for me the emperor, um, for me it's no dynamic in this card. So I think uh, that those of you who already are like having some position at your work, you will keep it. It's very strong. It has a good basement here. It's very safe. Uh, I don't see a shift in Emperor. Maybe I am wrong. Uh, but um, it's uh, very safe and secure for me. But for those Pisces, if you are like working on some simple job and you have the boss who is uh, like this emperor, very tough, uh, very, uh, I don't know, like there is, a, it seems like this person doesn't have a heart. If you will be too lazy, that I'm not sure that it will not be your boss who will be like, uh, I don't want to hear what you, why you didn't do this job. I don't see here th that it will be a loss of a job, but it can be some pressure from this emperor actually. Uh, this is 11th house, house of friends. We have ace of wands here. I think maybe you are getting an idea to visit some friend. Or you're meeting someone and you are really happy. You are, I don't know, inspired but by this meeting for some reason. Maybe you haven't seen this person for a long time. Maybe you uh, just uh, was dreaming to uh, meet this person and finally you're seeing him or her. It's house of friends. Uh, this 11th house, it's also house of our social life in the society. And here again, this uh, strong uh, will to come, to do something for the world, for the society. I see it like this, because it's really um, inspiration, it's really idea. It's something fresh, it's something powerful, it's something fiery, and you have it inside you. And as I told you in the 12th house, it's uh, something what you want to move away, something you want to open, something you want to remove. For me, this stone is like an obstacle uh, or, or obstacle or problem, and you want to like move it away but it's somewhere in your unconscious mind. Or maybe you're afraid that uh, to make some changes, there is, you must be, uh, like, put a lot of effort in this work. Also for me, it's like opening the talent, your own talent. Maybe you think somewhere in unconscious, like, no, maybe you feel that I have this talent, I have this gift. Uh, I want to open it, you have this in your unconscious mind, uh, but I don't know how to do it. And just you begin to do something, you begin to move uh, somehow, it doesn't matter how you're doing it, just with optimism, you begin to move forward and suddenly you are like shining, your talent is shining all over, people can see it, they are so surprised and you are surprised yourself as well because you, you didn't expect, oh, wow, <laughs> that you were so talented actually. Sometimes it's happening like this. 
so you just have to put a little bit of your energy and uh, it will open and today I'm using uh, gateway cards by Denise Lin and for you dear Pisces came uh, what it's uh, live by your truth I live in the light of uh, the truth your truth in the first place what is truthful for you what is uh, natural for you we all have these uh, feelings where we inside feel comfortable yes this is my thing this is what I should do I feel it not our ego not our passion desire uh, or physical uh, desire inside ourself our soul can always whisper to us where we can be brilliant what is our way of living we just have to hear it just have to relax and be honest with ourselves in the first place dear Pisces but I'm sure with this Queen of Cups in the ninth house you can easily hear this truth so I'm wishing you love abundance and hope to see you next time.